Consider a robot that moves down the aisles in stores, scanning items as it goes. Starting with the perception model, the robot will be trained to identify the existing products on the inventory. Say, it identifies these chocolates. So how can we do this? How do we keep track of the inventory? Continual learning is the solution here. We can use the continual lifelong learning algorithms to learn new tasks along the sequence while minimizing catastrophic forgetting, where it comparatively consumes less amount of time using certain combination of methods. We analyze and evaluate our proposed method on Core 50 a popular benchmark data set developed specifically for continuous object recognition from video sequences. The data set consists of 50 object classes belonging to 10 categories, with classification performed on both levels here. For this experiment, we will be dividing 10 categories into five tasks where two categories will fall into one task. Here we are trying to compare the existing continual learning methods using the normalized accuracy. We can see that the existing methods like EWC, SI or ICAL are outperformed by SOTR where it is very close to the performance of the very latest method implemented in this domain, Remind. We can observe that our model is able to retain all the previous task knowledge. Also, we can observe the fact that the naive method keeps predicting only the task which has been trained the last, which identifies the mug and the remote. Only those two labels have been predicted by the naive method, where our SOTR method is able to retain all the previous task knowledge and predict the labels correctly. So we present self-organizing task representation network as a novel approach where the primary clustering in the class incremental training is performed by the growing required network. We would also like to mention that this potentially opens up a huge avenue for research in the relevant domain.